Meanwhile, former president of Nigeria, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan has described Aquabin State as a safe haven for investment. Dr. Jonathan conveyed this information while heading a delegation of investors from Preheat Project during a business visit to Governor Pastor Umweno at the Government House Uyo on Tuesday. The former president observed that the state holds quite a significant potential due to its favorable environment, particularly highlighting the dedication of successive governors in the state to upholding good governance. Kwaibom is a part of me. I remember one of the first days I visited when I was in Umpadek in charge of environment was at Kwaibom. That time Uyo used to be flooded so much during the rains. <laughs> so it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long history. And by my left, my minister, who is now the deputy governor. Yes, yes. <laughs> so you know, it's my state. But actually, Kwaibom state is quite promising because of the environment around the ocean and other places, and most especially the commitment of the governors to ensure that there is, uh, the state is peaceful and that the state grows. So when the young people came to me and I should uh, help to navigate them, I feel like Kwaibom is one state that we could visit and see uh, if uh, the state will work with the, the preheat energy to ensure that the issue of investment in gas, either LNG, the liquefied natural gas, or the compressed uh, uh, gas for domestic use, and of course, the issue of power generation could start from Aquaibum. Uh, and uh, with the commitment of uh, the governor, who has already handed over the team to the relevant ministers and senior government for officials, I believe uh, this project will take off very, very fast. But when you ask why Aquaibum? We selected, and the group selected Akwaibo because of the focus of the government and the peace. The state governor, Pastor Umweno, expressed gratitude to the former president for his affection and keen interest in Akwaibo State, as well as spearheading the investment team. He characterized the former president as a proponent of peace and guaranteed that the government will furnish the requisite assistance to facilitate a seamless commencement of the preheat project. The preheat energies, we'd like to welcome you home and thank you for um, agreeing to the opinion of His Excellency because. Um, We just want to welcome you home. That's what I can say. And uh, looking forward to working with you. We, we have Anibom Industrial City, and it's all around where we are trying to set up Anibom Deep Sea Port. And um, the oil and gas free trade zone all are in one uh, contiguous area. And we believe that that area will provide the kind of site you are looking for and um, we've had a lot of organizations approach us for business opportunities but sometimes we just don't take them seriously because by the time you get into the integrity of their presentation and all of that you find out that they are not ready and uh, we don't want to tie down uh, the land that we have we don't have so much we just want to make sure that we identify the right people um, as we begin to go into these gas uh, uh, issues because if you begin to give land to the wrong people, by the time the right people come, there will be no land to give to them. So, But um, because this delegation has the endorsement of no less a person than the president, it's... it's um, given that um, we, you, we will give you land. That I can tell you. Vice President of the Preheat Project, Mr. Azibaola Robert, remarked that the Niger Delta region possesses substantial gas deposits that has not been fully explored for the populace's benefits. He affirmed that once the investment commences, 
it would generate employment and various opportunities for the people of Akwaibom and beyond. And we have not firmly utilized this gas to better the lives of our people, bring income to the country, and create employment also. So we know that in the next few years, petrol will almost become obsolete. Uh, crude oil, I mean uh, diesel, will almost become obsolete because there are new renewable energies, which gas is being put in, in, that, um, in that zone. So we are setting up um, LNG. We are setting up an LNG plant. Um, and uh, this plant, we have had serious debate, serious debate on where to decide it um, in the Niger Delta. And from there, it's going to be an offshoot that is going to go across the country to put LNG facilities across several states, starting from Akwaibom. Then we go down to Abuja and to Lagos and to Kano, Kaduna, and all those places. So we have a clear roadmap that we want to deal with. But the dot, is where you, whatever thing you want to start, you start with the dot. The dot starts from Akwaibom, and it 